हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज़ अमित अग्रवाल आई वुड बी टॉकिंग टू यू अबाउट द शिपिंग एंड लॉजिस्टिक स्पेस ग्लोबली टुडे द शिपिंग इंडस्ट्री इज़ गोइंग थ्रू अ वेरी बैड फेज एंड प्राइम दिस इज़ प्राइमरली बिकॉज ऑफ ओवर सप्लाई ऑफ शिप्स एंटरिंग द मार्केट एंड दिस हैज़ इम्पैक्टेड ईच एंड एवरी सेगमेंट ऑफ शिपिंग बी इट बल्क बी इट टैंकर और इवन द कंटेनर सेगमेंट In case of bulk uh, oversupply is up to the extent of eight to nine percent per annum, while the demand is expected to grow at five to six percent per annum, and this demand supply mismatch is creating plenty of problems on the freight trades, and that is one key reason that uh, lot of uh, bulk shipping companies currently is, are not doing that well. In case of a tanker, the oversupply is ex, uh, is there up to the extent of five to six percent per annum. while the demand is expected to grow at 2 to 3% per annum again the demand supply mismatch even in the case of tanker segment is creating lot of problems and putting pressure on the freight rates similar situation exist even in the container segment now in case of shipping companies we have three main shipping companies in the listed space one is ji shipping one is mercator lines and another uh, third one is shipping corporation of india Though the shipping segments are not doing that well, still we are bullish on couple of companies. Uh, one first is the Mercator Lines. Now we are bullish on Mercator Lines primarily because of uh, two reasons. One is the company has uh, significantly diversified into the coal segment, and again the company has diversified into uh, the offshore segment as well. And these two non-cyclical segments are contributing almost 60% of the top line and the bottom line of the company. and going forward we expect these two segments to contribute more than 70% uh, g shipping uh, again uh, the company has diversified in a very big way into uh, the offshore segment and with oil staying above 100 dollars per barrel we expect that even this segment to continue to do well for the company in fy2 l this segment contributed almost uh, 50% of the top line and bottom line and going forward we expect this to contribute more than 60% of the top line and the bottom line now we are not very bullish on shipping corporation of india primarily because the company has only presence in the shipping segment and we are not very bullish on the uh, segment now in case of logistics we are bullish on couple of companies one is adani ports and special economic zone and the other one is arsha international uh, in case of arsha international the company is having significant presence in And this FTWZ segment uh, is a very high margin business, and uh, the company is expanding in a very big way in the segment. And we expect uh, this to be one of the growth drivers of the company going forward. Adani Port, the company has uh, been reporting strong financial performance for uh, quarter and quarter. That's it uh, from my side. Uh, thank you.